So, guess who left the house last week and thought, I wonder if I've forgotten everything. Guess who went on holiday and didn't tell anybody else about it. Guess who went on holiday, found themselves waking up in a travel lodge and going, oh shit, I forgot to tell everyone I wasn't going to be here next week. Uh, that, that's me. That's me. I'm raising my hand here. Uh, I apologize profusely for missing out on uh, last week's video. I was in Brighton. It had been a fairly hastily done kind of uh, holiday planning. It was only planned like two or three weeks ago. Um, but I'll tell you all about it this week. Now, last week, I remember, we were frantically trying to get those alliance plans over there. Turns out there's a knack for it. And I did manage to complete it. It took me, oh god, I can't remember how many attempts, but quite a few. A very embarrassing amount of attempts. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pick straight up, as if nothing happened. Uh, there is a cloak here that is hmm, kind of okay. I mean, it's better than what we got. Is it? Mm, not sure. Braces of stamina and intellect, so that's probably going to be better. Let's try that. And with that, we've reached level 59. Now, let's see. We need to report to Rohan Sunvale at Sunvale Excursion in the Blasted Lands, which is not quite through the portal, but it will be somewhere near it at some point later on. So, let's see. Let's pop that on there. Uh, we can get rid of a couple of... Oh, yes, of course. Uh, we don't need that. That's all, that's all, that's all, that. Pop that over here, pop that over there, there, there. And we don't need those leggings. Fantastic. All right, we've also got some post, uh, which may or may not have anything to do with the fact that we did not manage to do anything. Okay, so let's see. If we fly, we can go to the Sunvale excursion, but we're going to go here first. So... Let me tell you about my time away. I So, uh, some very good friends of mine from LARP said, hey, you should uh, come over. Basically, it's not something I do or have done very much in my life. I'm not someone who would go around a friend's house and stay over. Um, not too sure what it was or has been, but it's it's just never been something I do. So me and my partner, we plan this trip to go from Cornwall to Brighton, which in itself is about five and a half hours drive. Uh, and between me and my partner, I'm the only one that can drive. Therefore, it kind of falls on me to do a lot of everything. Up we go. Um, so, we basically planned to have stops. These stops would be just for my sanity, and it would also allow for stretching of the legs, and generally feeling a little better. We'll get you Wazix Passage. Okay. Oh boy. Obtain Amulet of... Alice Starge from the Serpent's Coil. Obtain the Amulet of Savine from Salt Flop. And obtain Grom's Amulet from the Shattershore and the Blasted Lands. There we go. Well, let's get them all. So. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Looks like we got stuff to do. So, let's see. First thing we did, we drove from Cornwall to. Oh god! Now I'm trying to frantically remember. We had this. Okay, so we were gonna go to. I don't know if anybody else has been to Wookie Hole, 
but it is just caverns, various caverns, which um, you can go inside and look at. I'm really fucking selling it here, aren't I? <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't end up going to Wookie Hole. We ended up going straight past it, going to Glastonbury instead now. Glastonbury is famously known for a couple of things. Hippies. The Abbey. Hippies. Um, strange clothing shops. And hippies. So, uh, quite a varied amount of things. Basically, we looked around the ruins, which was quite fascinating actually. Uh, generally had a pretty cool time. Oh, there's the end. <laughs> this might be difficult. Well, maybe not. Well, let's get these guys whilst we're here. Okay. So, we went... Oh, Jesus. We are not doing well. We're going to park skin. Going to healing touch. Yes, get the um, Basically, spent a little bit of time in Glastonbury and generally had a decent time. We then spent a little bit more. Oh, God. This is not going well at all. Oh, no. That's another one, surely. There it is. <laughs> it's amazing what you have to try and do to try and think everyone's... Okay, we're up to... My death tally says seven. Okay, might have to fight our way in. It's probably going to be easier for... We're here. Okay. So yeah, spent a little time around Glastonbury. It was quite nice. We moved on. We were then going to go to Stonehenge, uh, because my partner's really into her archaeology. So we make our way to Stonehenge. We'd been there before. We were only really going to use it as a rest stop, you know, go to the gift shop, see if they have anything nice. Don't worry too much about it if they do, or don't. Um, by the time we got there, it was about four o'clock. So it's closed at six, so we had plenty of time. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't, just weren't letting anybody in. We still don't know why. Maybe it had something to do with like a power cut or what, but they just weren't letting anybody inside. So we go, ah, oh, shit, okay, that's fine. We make our way to another place called Woodhenge, which is about four or five miles down the road. It is quite literally uh, where the guys who built Stonehenge lived, or I think it was that or where they um, came from, like migrated to, to um, um, build it or part of the pilgrimage or something. Can't really remember, but it was very cool. I got stunned back, okay, fair enough. Got one, that's good. There's two now. Um, so we spent a little bit of time around there. It was very interesting. We then carried on to Portsmouth, or just outside of, sorry, just outside of Southampton, where we chilled out. We then had a little bit extra time during the next day next day we went to um, Portsmouth so I spent most of my childhood growing up in Portsmouth it is, I love it, it's a fantastic place, it's very, well it's a very navy place, so it, it kind of makes sense that uh, well, it being very navy means there's a lot of navy lads just wandering around and uh, we went to the Gun Wharf shopping centre where I thought we could just do some chilling out shopping, you know, normal stuff. Find ourselves a very nice pair of shoes. 
These shoes usually retail about 130 quid. Uh, we went halves, my partner and I, and we got two pairs for um, two pairs for I think it was 90 quid in the end. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't in my size, or they were kind of in my size, but like just a bit too small. I'm usually a size nine. I had tried on a seven and a half with thick socks, and I thought that would be fine and it would fit fine and everything like that. But it turns out not so much. So um, we don't worry about that for now. We well, my partner got some that fit her perfectly, so that's my main priority. We then make our way from Portsmouth. Oh, where do we go next? I think we went straight there, to be honest. Yes, we did. We went straight to Brighton after that, which was great. Got to see our friends. It was fantastic. It was a very... Okay, so we stayed there for two nights. I The way that I describe it in my head to make it seem... Uh, like, to, to, to describe it to people would be it was a, an unmasking experience being there so everybody who lives in that house has some form of mental or physical disability nothing bad about it nothing bad at all it is just um, when you go there oh that was easy <laughs> when you go there oh we might do that um, when you go there and you f you don't have to pretend to be somebody like um, somebody that you know. for years I have had this mask on this uh, be mostly because of LARP this mask of somebody who I wanted to be um, and it was a place that I could go where no judgment was made no you know, you don't have to wear a mask, you can just be. And that was the most important thing for me, and I'm still getting over that. A lot of things during our time there made me really think about myself and who I am as a person. And uh, it was quite freeing in a sense, but also I am well, very much in an existential crisis kind of deal. Um, I've come home and I'm kind of trying to figure out who I am. It's a weird one. Uh, I'm sure everybody has some form at this point of knowing who they are or at least, f you know, know what to expect with themselves. But, um, well, basically, I don't know. To make it easy to think about. I don't know. Um, I thought I knew. But um, that veil has been dropped now. And so I spent my time there um, with my friends, making music, singing. I made them some food. And uh, we explored Brighton as much as we could. We were both very exhausted. Um, but then to come back to a house that was also exhausted <laughs> and basically like, oh, yeah, same, uh, you know, let's just chill on the sofa for a bit. I'll get you some tea or something to that degree was very freeing. And I, well, they don't know that I do this and they probably won't ever figure out that I do this. I don't, there's not many people who know. In fact, there's only one person who knows. That's my partner. Um, that may change. I don't know. But for now, it's just what it is. I'm hoping that um, in the future we should be able to figure a little bit more out about myself. But look, I'm getting a little bit out, out of... Uh, where I was going <laughs> with this uh, I had a wonderful time there they were my true, true friends and I loved them all 
dearly. Um, we saw, well, it was Brighton that we were, we were going there for friends, but Brighton was there also, so we uh, we had a look into what was available, and it was mostly clubs. A very strange and very tacky pier. Anybody who has been to Brighton will know what I'm on about that, with that. But uh, um, it was just um, strange. But it was like I, I described it as like living in London, but with a beach. Um, yeah, it was like living in London, but with a beach. That was the easiest way to describe it. Um, I'm not saying it was a bad beach. It was a pebble beach. We saw some nice rocks and all sorts, but uh, you know, it was just a bit weird. Um, now we stayed there for a couple of days. We made lots of music. I made a chili, which is my my LARP staple. Was making a chili. Uh, people would. Uh, geez, I knew I forgot to do something. My apologies. Um. My LARP staple was making a chili. It was like fantastic, people loved it, and they would pay a lot of in character money for it because obviously you couldn't charge out real character money for, or real money for it. Um, so uh, I made that for them and they loved it, which I was really nervous for. One of the, uh, one of the people there was French and was, um, mm, how do I say it, very blunt when it came to food, like they were very French, <laughs> they, they will tell you if it is bad, and I was so nervous about it, but they, uh, they were very, very honest, and they gave top marks, so I was very, very relieved. I also found that I did more steps there in Brighton than I did like going around Disney, which is huge because I was doing like uh, 20, well, I think it was 15, 20,000 steps in Disney. And I think in one day I did 25,000, something nuts like that. But um, yeah, it was wonderful. Truly, truly wonderful. It's. Uh, I, I I tend to say that things that are great and that I really love become a core memory because of uh, wasn't the Disney Pixar film Inside Out. Um, that whole trip was a core memory. Um, it was definitely something that is, you know, something I, I will treasure forever. Um, on the way back. We were trying to think of anything that we could do. Um, what we aimed for was we wanted to do the new forest because we heard there was some redwoods there. There's something called a arboretum, which is um, like a tree, tree farm, tree, no, not a tree farm, that's wrong. Like a tree zoo. Tree zoo, yeah, that's a nice way of doing it. So we, first things first, we went, we tried to go back to Portsmouth and sh sort out the shoe issue, uh, which they were very cheeky, but also kind of helpful, um, because they were in this special offer, we, um, they were £130 shoes, and they were like, yeah, we can pay you £30 for them back, unworn, you know, with the tags. Um, and they said, well, this is what I would have to say that I would do. However, because I can't say that you should probably sell it on eBay and uh, get a lot more for it. I can't say that, of course, but um, that would be what I would say if if I could say that in your specific situation. They were very nice. <laughs> um, she was following protocol, bless her. We need to destroy Ashir idols and... Slay, blood wash. Oh, this seems a bit nuts. This seems a bit too much for what we're doing, dude. 
guess we're supposed to be getting these. Uh, I need to get that other amulet. Let's get that first. And then we'll swing around. Yeah, so we sorted, air quotes, the um, shoes out. Then we went to this new forest, Arboretum. And it was wonderful. We saw California redwoods. We saw um, two giant sequoia trees. Like, giant. They were huge. They were like... Um, I don't remember how tall they said. I think it was like a 12 or 18 elephants tall. And I don't know why they used elephants as a unit of measurements. I just assumed that it was for the Americans who were coming to visit. Because they really don't like the metric system. Um, so, yeah. They said it was 18 or 12 or 18 uh, elephants tall. However, the tallest one ever recorded is something like 200 and something, um, oh no, uh, two hundred and something odd elephants tall. It was absolutely huge. We managed to pick up some pine cones that were giant sequoia pine cones. And uh, I'm going to keep hold of them for a while and uh, hopefully see if I can plant them somewhere um, in the, when we have our own place that we own. Uh, we won't have to worry about, you know, renting or anything like that. If we have a back garden, I will be putting a, uh, a giant sequoia tree in, uh, in our back garden do these ones next. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to hit 60 this one. Um, on, so we went from the Arboretum because we had so much fun, we spent a little bit too much time there. So we drove from there straight to the hotel that we were staying at in the evening. Got ourselves a huge Mackey's because I think it was needed. Definitely needed. Um, then just straight to bed next day which is today we were trying to figure out because it was oh god where was it Ilminster yeah we were staying in a place called Ilminster which is not that much there I'll be honest absolutely nothing there um so we were like okay what is there there's this wildlife park we can go to that oh, I'm sure yeah Tickets are like a tenner each. Sure, why not? So earlier today we saw wolves, uh, a lynx, uh, arctic foxes, red squirrels, um, boars, loads of really interesting... I'd never seen wolves before. I was utterly awestruck wonderful and because this um, this wildlife park is fairly um, not it's, it's not huge it's not particularly popular and we are kind of in the off season there was not that many people there so we had a lot of the stuff there to ourselves like there was a um, there was this maze you know, like a normal wood row, wood, yeah, the bush maze, yeah, a bit normal bush maze, right? It was probably the hardest maze we've ever been to. Um, it was just, it was nuts, really nuts. Like, I was not expecting it to be that difficult, but it was. <laughs> I mean, it was fantastic. I, I learned a lot just being there. But it does seem a bit, well, mm. difficult is the wrong word. I think we might have just been a bit thick. But yeah, it had a, um, a, a Saxon village as well. It was just, there was a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. Um, after we did that, we basically drove straight home. Um, not before being stuck in so much traffic. 
if we're going at that speed then we might as well go here because we don't get the knockback effects um, yeah so immediately after that we drove home we got stuck in so much traffic and I think we only got back about oh god maybe 40 minutes ago now like not long <laughs> um, and the first thing that I wanted to do was make some food uh, for me and my partner, chill out, and once we've done that, I immediately just hopped on here, because I'm like, oh shit, I really need to catch up. Can I, uh, does it have to be all in one go? So yeah, that was my week. Um, I hope yours was equally as good. Because, well, <laughs> I always want people to have good weeks. Because that's just, you know, the best thing is to have a good, good week. Um, yeah. Everything ended up being good in the end. Can I switch the do that right now, that's okay, we can swim out, there's no major threats near us, um, yeah, so this, ah, there we go, this unmasking that I've been thinking about has been on my mind for a while now, and, um, I like to think something in mind for who I want to be and what I want to do and all that stuff. It won't come into effect quite yet. Um, hopefully uh, with this shanty festival that's coming up um, something good will happen of it. Speaking of, um, they've updated the website <laughs> so now my name's on it. Um, I've let everybody know um, I'm very excited to perform over the weekend with my friends. I did a lot of, well, some of the performances that I would have done um, with my guitar and things like that. So uh, it seems I have, they enjoyed it. Um, and it seems I'm going to do quite well. Um, so... What I wanted to try and do. Well, I don't know what I wanted to try and do now. This is very much uh, open book, and uh, let's just focus now on the coming weeks. The coming weeks. What's going on in the coming weeks? Um, hopefully, uh, we should be moving into our new venue at work. Hopefully, it's been a lot of legal crap that I've been trying to do over the last couple of uh, days. I've obviously tried to have my uh, phone muted at least with work chats because you know when you're on holiday, basically, you don't want to be unless someone is dead or dying. You don't want to be receiving phone calls and messages from work. What was that? Okay, yeah, I could do that. Well, that might that may just be me. That may just be me. I might be a bit of a cynical bastard here, but uh, 
I really do not enjoy driving along you know, on this huge road trip that I'm trying to do and having, oh, it's, you know, it's the work chat again asking about something or it's the work chat doing this, that and the other. My partner was getting very pissed off. <laughs> um, she's very much of the mind of, you are on holiday, you are allowed to enjoy your holiday. Um, but I just wanted to keep up to date and uh, I'm glad that I did not do that though because I'm supposed to be on holiday um, uh, I think that is pretty much it for the week actually I've been doing a lot more singing which is probably why my oh actually I tell you what last week with my well Mm, not last week, week before. Last episode, um, my voice has got a lot better. As I'm sure you can probably tell by the fact that I'm not coughing. Um, yeah, doing a lot, lot better. And um, I'm very thankful for all the comments that you guys gave in terms of uh, wishing me well and uh, generally just really nice comments. It seems uh, that I'm doing a lot better at this than I thought I was. So, thank you again. We are hopefully going to get our butts in through that portal this time. But if we keep doing side quests like this, well, we'll be level 60 by the time we go in. So we'll just be extra geared up. But I feel like I should really finish what I'm doing here and not do any more. We'll miss out on some of the quest lines just so we can get it done. I think that might be a good idea actually. Should we just leave this here? Hand in what we've got? Mm, there's only a few of these guys to get. Let's, let's, no, I was going to say let's stealth up. get that on the way out. So we've got a zealot here and here. Oh, I remember this place. Yes, I don't want to do too much movement around here. I remember this being a labyrinth, but also difficult to get out of if you weren't already a druid, obviously, because I'm bloody loving being a druid in this. Uh, that is a acolyte, we don't need acolytes, we need gamblers and zealots, there's a zealot, there's a now whilst we can. There we go, we've got, we've got a lot of quests here. I mean, all of them are basically return. As soon as we get these done, we will return them. We won't pick anything else up unless it gets a really good reward. It's got to be, like, really good. Okay. We're also getting a lot of kit, as I'm sure you can see. Um, that is apparently better. Well, less agility. Intellect and strength. I'll tell you what, let's pop that on. Why not? We can always come back to this. Um, we will move all of the cloth over here. Those are clams. Um, more armor, more spell power, but loses everything else. Maybe not. A pennant gives just dodge. No. Okay, you can't use them. Those are cloth shoes. Plate, mail, shield, cloth, plate, some fish, plate, leather, hat. Gives us agility and spirit, but 
loses us crit strike and stamina. I think that would work. Yeah. Uh, necklace of the Owl. That will give us intellect and spirit. I reckon that will be decent as well. Leather pants of the monkey. Mm, no. Plate a branch. The clams, I'll do them later. Plate another mace. Healing potion, a blood strike, damage of healing, a cape of spirit, robes of the owl, that's cloth again. Okay, let's drop down here and see if we can find who we need. Zealot, zealot, I think that's the only ones we need, so we'll get you, sir, and you, sir. So yeah, I think it was just about after we'd left, about 10, 15 minutes after we'd left, and I'd just gone, oh shit. I made a list of everything that I'd need to do before I left the house. And what those things were, oh I see, those things were record a video and schedule it so that when I'm gone it will still pop up at about the same time. I just forgot, it had gone, and I felt so, so stupid. I spent so much of the drive over trying not to hit my head <laughs> repeatedly on the steering wheel. Um, but I promised that I, as soon as I got in, I would record something, pop it up, and uh, hopefully you guys wouldn't have all unsubscribed. was also uh, my arm is doing a lot better as well after surgery it's been about two weeks now and it's fine it's uh, no longer painful it is still a bit ick so I'm taking some flucloxacillin for it which is a particularly strong and particularly nasty little anti uh, infection stuff it's not something I particularly enjoy so uh, um, hopefully I won't have to worry about that for much longer um, uh, yeah it's doing well and uh, after uh, it's done. I was hoping I could do a couple of streams. It might just be... I was thinking, that, like, ASMR streams exist and are interesting, but I don't know. I was trying to think of what I could do. Um, for I'm still trying to do a charity live stream for um, Foul of Shanty Festival. I want to do something. Uh, that is kind of like, I can just raise a lot of money to help and go towards um, the lifeguards. Because their work is fucking phenomenal. So I was thinking, some kind of 24 hour live stream. Where I'm just playing WoW in a, an ASMR style. I thought I could do that quite easily. Wow. It's in the... It's, it's a work in progress is what it is. I don't know whether or not this is something I can do or will do, but it's something I can look into. Just going to ignore that. I'll get the gambler's wrap, I think. Yeah. And then that does that. Good. Okay, we don't need that anymore. We'll come back to that. We'll go back here and give these in. What kind of hat am I wearing now? It looks like a little, oh, okay. It looks like a safety cap, you know, one of those um, hard hats. And, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll give that to the collector because I know he likes them. And then we'll return all of these amulets. And then, well, by then we should be level 60. Now, 
couple of things that I need to do as I need to make a butt ton of money and uh, I pop that on like that there we go pauldrons of the whale they are very nice but also cloth so it's not something we can use well it's something we can use but it's not something we want to prioritize now for 60 not only do I learn Soothe, which could be interesting to use, but I think I, yeah, allows you to ride flying mounts in the Eastern Kingdom's calendar on default. So I will be able to fly, but I don't think I'll be able to afford to fly because I remember it was like 500 gold or something like that. Something ridiculously expensive. There you go, mate. And. There's something for us. Uh, here it is. It is a valor valorous girdle. Sure, I guess. Why not? Um, do I have to go back here? I do. Ah, there we go. Don't have to worry about it. No, okay, gotta wait a couple seconds, and in we go. Cool. Okay, Blood Lage. Lenore. There's one. There's two. There's three. Now, boots, uh, agility and stamina, a cloak, stamina, intellect, and hit. But it's not as good as what we've got. I would go with the yoga hunting boots, it's an upgrade. There we go. Level 60 has been achieved. We have the ability to do the Flight Master's License. A uh, new raid has unlocked Molten Core. Oh my goodness, that could be interesting. Expert riding as well, so we can go faster. Flight Master's unlocked. Let's start the ritual. Yeah, okay. I hope bind you to this layer. Okay, I need to speak with the Deathly Usher north of Rise of the Defiler. Once atop the Rise, destroy his body, then use the Stone Knife of Sealing to imprison his soul. I will get a cool ring. Yeah, I'll get a cool ring, Band of Sacrifice. We'll take that, and we'll go and do that. Now, he's right over there. And then, once we've done that, we'll make our way to the Sunwell Excursion via here at Deathmall Hull because there's a flight path there. Um, am I going the right way? I think I'm just going up the mountain. That's not right, is it? It might be right. I have no idea. Ooh, God, this is always a bit treacherous. Okay. No, it is definitely on top of the mountain. First we must travel to the deity, Deathly Usher, who waits. Here. Hello, sir. I wish to face the defiler. There he is. Right. Ready. Demon, I have returned from beyond the grave to destroy you. Death has not erased my memory. I still know your name.
see they use the altar of storms, didn't they? I wasn't feeling ready then. Demonic energy entering your heart, your lungs, your soul. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, cheers, Loramas. Finish me while Mercury possesses my body. Oh dear. Okay, sure thing, bud. You've got it. No problem. We'll give that a go. And then we'll stab the bastard. Leave me here then while I wrestle with him in the next world. Your job here is done, heroes. Well, beans. Rune of return. Let's use that. And we go back to the dark portal. Via here. Hopefully we should be able to... Hopefully we should be able to get some mail. Oh, we have another one from Wind Rider. Jahubo. Jahubo. Uh, don't suppose we have anywhere that can do mail here. Do we? No, we've got the Hearthstone place, but our Hearthstone is still set to Blood Who Village. I'll silently try and figure out um, how much it'll cost me. Um, let's see. How much does the ability to fly in Pandaria cost? Oh dear. No, it's not that. Um, writing. Let's see. So. I don't think it's going to tell me, annoyingly carry on for now, but I distinctly remember it being pretty expensive, right? Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, we don't need that. I don't need that. Wait, do we? No, it's just the item level. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. We'll keep that just in case. Don't need that. We'll open them in a second. Don't need that, don't need that. Don't think we need that or that or that or this or this, 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 or that. We don't need these anymore. We'll move them over here. We we'll don't need that. Okay. That. Or that. Or that. Or that. Oak hunting boots. That is an upgrade. We'll pop that on. Um, use the stone knife ceiling. Yeah, that's for the thing. We don't need that up here. We don't need that, or that, or that, or that. Pop that up there. Arcing cover. Nope. summons. Kill 
Dune God destroyers, dreadlord defilers, corrupt darkwood treants, and five Felspool bog lords in the Tainted Forest. Very well. Tainted Forest is this way. I think it was uh, the last episode we were looking at this forest and going, this looks fantastic, but also terrifying. It was like, this is exactly what the blasted lands used to look like. So, we're going to kill some fuckers here then, I see. Now, we are level 60. We could just go back. Because we really don't need to do this. And then we can just go through the, through the dark portal. You know what? This does seem a bit redundant, doesn't it? We're just getting money and experience. Let's sack this off. I'm going to half stone back. I know I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to half stone back. And we're going to find out how much I need for flying. I'm going to write it down. And we will go from there. So, what I will do as well, as much as I love Bloodhoof Village, we're going to move. Well, wait, hang on, we can get the post. Okay, Windrider, if you want to learn expert riding fly mounts, visit me in Hellfire Valencia. My fee is 250 gold. We can do that. Okay, no more than 50 gold. That's annoying. <laughs> and all, oh, I'll tell you what, all of these were successful though, so we're about to get a little bit more money. There's a bit more. And a bit more. Fantastic, look at all that. Wonderful. Great job. Okay, so what we'll do is, we don't need anything from here, we will fly to Ogrimmar, and in flying to Ogrimmar we will also be able to go, hmm, do I? can fly over the Gromgol as opposed to me going down to Ratchet here. Mm. One is closer, but um, and I should be able to do all the same stuff. Mm. Yeah, let's see. Can I request a drop off? I don't think I can here. No, I guess we're going to Orgrimmar then. Yeah, I thought normally you would be able to request a stop, uh, you know, to Ogrimmar. I tell you what, though, we are now racing that, the Zeppelin. Oh. Yeah, we're racing the Zeppelin now to uh, Thunder Bluff. So, interesting, you can, um... Yeah... Flying is 250 gold. It's uh, artisan, uh, which I think they removed, which is 5,000 gold, which is faster flying than, oh god, cold weather flying. If I just take uh, the flight, there it is. The flight master's license was added in Cataclysm to allow flying in Kalimdor and the Eastern Kingdoms, excluding the Burning Crusade zones. Its cost was 250 gold and required level 60. Wisdom of the Four Winds was added in Mr. Pandaria to allow flying in Pandaria. It cost 2,500 gold and required level 90. Wall of the Drain or later added the Grimoire of the Four Winds to the Black Market Auction House, which could be learned. Uh, could learn flying at 85 instead. Um, also required Cloud Serpent Rising skill to learn the riding. Cloud Serpent Mounts, it was awarded from 10 to 35 riding disguise uh, at Exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent. 
but it was removed in Ward's drain on that. That annoys me because I ground the fuck out of that rep. Uh, my uh, on my retail account, my main, who was a Torren hunter called Arrow Thunder, he was my go-to. Like he's not really the thing with um, my accounts are uh, they're not really high skill high level to you know get that absolute maximum out of each character it was made for fun and they were done for fun they weren't really made for raiding they were just made for f well fun so Arrow Thunder is the one where I really started taking things seriously and I really thought I was doing a good job with it as well but um, as I started playing and stopped playing and started back up again and stopped uh, my desire to make new characters meant that I was neglecting my Arrow Thunder um, and so he kind of faded into obscurity however I, he was the one who got all of um, the rep for each and every character. He got the rep for all of them. So it was like, uh, oh god, what was it? Reputation. So he got Horde everything to Exalted. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of a discount as well. So there's the Flight Master's license train. We can now go slightly faster. We're also going to get ourselves... Oh, we might as well get all three. Right, be a little bit cheeky. So, one, two, three. So we now have the normal codos and then the wind riders. I'm going to keep it on the tawny one for now. I think I'm going to. Because I only ever use the great white. I think it was white one, wasn't it? Yeah. I only use the great white one. But then I'm also going to use the tawny wind rider. And now, here's the test. There it is. We are flying. Now. We also could just do this. And we are also flying. We didn't really need those mounts because we are a druid and can do our own flying. But it's always good to have. So, let's see. Mage Weave Cloth. Mage Weave Cloth is currently two of them, or five of them are selling for... 37 gold, 10 is 65, so I'll half that and do 10 gold. Well, it's not exactly half, but now I've got a lot of rune cloth. How many stacks do I have? I've got, well, if these are three, just about four gold each, let's say three. So, three, six, nine, twelve. Twenty-four. Let's pop them on. So, two maximum at twelve buyout. And then this is going to be... Eight. No. Yeah. Eight gold, ninety-nine. There we go. All right. Done. Alrighty. This broken amulet. I'm just going to delete it. Uh, do I need any more backpack space? I don't think I do. But I'll have a look and see if they have any. Just. Oh, you know what I could do? I think I've got enough here to do some glyphs. Just swim speed whilst in aquatic form. What was it I was going to do? That's not right. Which, oh, I remember. 
the shape shifting thing. I think it was going to be. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, right. Okay. What I was going to do was this. I need vanishing powder. Hmm. Right. Okay. Give me a sec. Uh, what do we say? Healing down whilst in cat form. Cyclone. Dash. Reduces cooldown. That would be good. They're major glyphs, though. I mean, that is a major glyph. That'd be useful. Uh, resto. Entangling roots. Face silence. Fairy fire. No. No. Guided stars. No. Healing touch. When you cast healing touch, the cooldown of your nature swiftness is reduced by three seconds. No. Nah. Hurricane. No. Nah. Innovate. When innovate is cast on a target other than the caster, both the caster and the benefit. Of this one. Are you not in an eclipse? The following abilities now grant 10 solar power. No. Pounce, prowl, rebirth. Regrowth, rejuvi, savage, survival instincts, the stars, hmm. it might have just been, um, dash. Aquatic form is okay, but dash here is 500. It's more than we can afford. Uh, I will get some vanishing powder. Get rid of that other talent. Uh, oh, Gammon's here. That's fine. We can leave him alone. We will make this in our home. First things first. Uh, vanishing powder. Where would I find vanishing powder? Uh, I imagine it'll be over in the druids area. Just Valley of Wisdom. Oh, it's so nice to be able to fly. I know it is a little bit um, slow, but it is better than nothing. Also, can I change the way my thing looks? No, I can't. I thought I could. Oh, but that's uh, later versions, I think. We'll just use the Tawny Windrider for now. In case you can still fly. Right. Druid Trainer. Oh, look. Unlearn my talents. It will cost me a gold to unlearn them, but uh, yeah. Fuck it. So we'll go wild charge. Your serious gift. Uh, typhoon. Soul of the Forest, your Wrath, Starfire, and Star Surge, which is here. Wrath, Starfire, Star Surge, my 1, 3, and 5. Uh, have an 8% chance to cause your next Astral Communication, which I have used a whole lot of not much, uh, to give 100 Lunars instantly. Grant 100 Lunar or Solar Panel. Or... Improved Moonkin form that gains 25 increased arcane and nature damage whilst Eclipse is active. Improved Feral for Cat form that allows you to use all the abilities that do not require stealth. Improved Bear form, Tree of Life form that increases healing, done, increases armor, and enhances life bloom while growth and regrowth. Okay. Or summon a tree and to assist in the Druid's common combat roll for 15 seconds. Mm, I think I'm going to go for. Uh, Incarnation. Please select a primary talent tree. Hmm? What? Uh, 
Did I miss something? Oh. I see. Right. Well, charge your serious gift. That and that. Right. Soothe. I'll pop it over here. Is this... Uh, okay. This is going to be my main thing here. I'll pop this over here. Uh, nature's grasp as well. That over there, that over there. Bark skin, typhoon. Right, okay. I'll pop that here so wild charge. charge here I think it is and it's on number that uh, this wild charge there into the water wild charge is there travel form yep and moonkin form Wild charge bounce backwards could be very useful. And then flight form, which is fly to a nearby allies position. But I'm in shapeshift form, so it doesn't really work. Okay, I think that's everything here today. So, what we're going to do is we are going to finish up by. Oh, God, that's a bit far. You. That'll be the Thunder Bluff one. That's the one we need. Yeah. We've done our talents and everything. We will make our way over to um, the portal. We'll go in and we'll accept the quest. We will accept the quest that allows us to do it. I'm going to grab some Vanishing Powder as well. I think I just got ripped off. <laughs> And then there's this Tome of the Clear Mind here, which uh, will remove glyphs. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So we'll keep some of that on us, just in case. Uh, we'll fly over and do our own thing. We don't have to worry about um, getting specific flight paths, because we can just fly there ourselves. Oh, that is so cool. Right, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to do. I don't think there is. I think it is just get back there and get stuck in. Um, now, I know and remember this for a fact, because I used to race these Zeppelins. I would get off uh, as it was starting up here, and then try and fly and intercept where it will be before it disappears and teleports away um, to being in the next place. It was just a weird little thing I used to do. Now I remember very clearly that it is very hard to catch up with one of these if you only have the base level flying. Because the base level flying just isn't swift enough. You really need to cut corners and all that jazz before you can get on. And if you don't get on, it will just get to about here, and then it will disappear. Now, having just looked at the time, I do realize, and if I do this as well, look, so it just, just about, I mean, it is slowing down now, but we will make our way to here. Which is, do that again, here, and we'll get there in no time at all. Yeah, looking at this now, I do feel like I have just wasted a little bit of money doing the flying, but 
150%, right? And then a normal flying uh, mount will be... Uh, what would it be? it is 150 anyway the next one we'd need to get is the cold weather flying which will be for north rend which will be fun oh of course yeah because we're flying over it physically we're gonna possibly spot a lot of things we'll fly over Zorgarub now in fact i'll see if i can get a little lower Bit of XP. God, these leaves just look, just look terrible. I think down there we can see it. There it is. No, not in this bit. I think if you're flying over an instance like that, nothing's going to be down here. Otherwise, anyone could just pop down for a bit. Regardless, very cool to see. I know we can get to our destination faster. If we'd taken a flight path, but... You know, that's not as fun. And just like that, into a new area. Now we're just going into the blasted lands, which is good. Um... Well, for one, this is where we need to be. And we'll make our way towards the dark portal. You can hear... It's not the music, it is just... Everything. We never figured out what that was. Maybe we'll fly over there at a later time. We want a hundred percent everywhere we go. Well, it's not something we've done already, but you know we can do it if we want to. Report Loramus's fate to watch a Wazik at the dark portal in the blasted lands. From there, we'll pretty much shut off that storyline and make our way through the dark portal. Areas and we're down. We'll take the band of sacrifice, and that is all of the blasted land quests. What I will do is I'll take off this dangerous machine piece. I didn't realize that this was a trinket that I could use as well. that there just for now and here we go as of right now our adventures in Azeroth have come to an end our adventures through here in the outland is just beginning here it is the stair of destiny and here's a big scrap going on commander Duron on one side and lieutenant general Orion on this side our expedition made it safely through the portal and set up a new base called Thralmar yet as you see the burning legion moves up and cuts us off from our brothers Clearly, the demons hope to retake the Dark Portal and prevent us from gathering reinforcements from Azeroth. He wants us to bring Orion's report to Vlaga Freyth Feather. Who is right over here? You know what? I did say I was going to stop, but it is literally right here. 
There's your report. So you're Orion's new messenger. Okay, cool. Bring Orion's port to General Krakot. Oh, there's a portal to Orgrimmar there. This will be the next thing we do. What I'll do is I'll just have a quick look around. 14 slot bag. No, we don't need that right now. Don't need any bags at the moment. I think we're doing quite well for ourselves. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. The uh, wind riding master is not someone that I can... Ah, that's where I'd need to go for it. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, whilst we're flying there, because we obviously know we're not going to be able to fly around here, we're going to have to go back onto the mounts, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. I just want to take this time to thank everybody for uh, bearing with me and... Uh, Obviously, you can see here, we've got our work cut out for us for what we're going to be uh, attempting to save, or attempting to do in this uh, new world called Outland. Oh, look, there's the Fell Reaver. <laughs> Just happily stomping along. That thing fucking terrifies me still. It's noises, it's the noises it makes, I think that does it. Right, we'll land, we'll pop the quest in, to General Krakork. Okay, he wants you to speak with Nazgrel, and that is something that we will definitely be doing next week. So, I'll sit myself down. Thank you very much. I say next week. Uh, this is just a catch up from last week. So there will be another episode coming out at the end on Saturday. So a little bit of a double whammy for you all this week. I'll try and do better in letting people know or letting you guys know whether or not there will be something. If there is, which you know there almost always should be. If there isn't, uh, I'll let you know. If there is, there'll be something scheduled something pops up for example so apologies again or thank you for bearing with me i'll see you all in the next video which should be coming up hopefully very soon take care everyone see you later